achieved the normal scoring for the Grand Prix. Our first rider is gifted with Carol Lavelle. And Carol has been in this arena before, as you know. And she has also represented us at the International uh, World Cup Final in the past. She is a great performer. She was very instrumental in getting us the bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Barcelona. This is a big horse. This 17-3? Oh, yes. At least, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and how about this relationship, horse and rider? How long has this been? Uh... Carol and Gifted have come up through the ranks. She's had him for many years, and he is an absolutely fabulous competitor. She's just doing her warming up exercises, so she's ready yes. to go on and yes. do her extended work in her test. Right. And she's giving him a good stretch at the walk, and she did, she did interestingly walk down there in front of the judges so that he gets to see the whole arena. Exactly, exactly. And for a rider, for dressage, this arena is a little bit scary because the ring area comes very close to the sides. So as you extend across the diagonal, you will come directly in, almost into contact with people and faces and hands and all kinds of things from the spectators. This is an interesting arena. I have ridden a number of horses in it, and there's something about the acoustics in it, mm -hmm. and you'll hear the jumper riders talk about it as well. That, I don't know, they're, the horses just don't react often the way I expected them to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have to think it's acoustical as well as a, as a sight problem. Yes, yes. Carol is practicing her passage, which is a very heightened trot movement. And just as you will see, she goes a little bit forward and then comes a little bit back. She's trying to compress him and practice a little bit her piaf there, the trot on the place. It's very important that the horse move um, with opposite pairs a front leg and a hind leg at the same time. And you are scored on the regularity of each stride as well as the number. It has to be between 12 and 15. So there's the bell. And she will now go out of the arena and come down the center line. She's practicing her extended right there in the trot. Jessica, this discipline is steeped in history. How long has this specific discipline, the Grand Prix part of this, been intact? How long have they been doing this exact same test? Um, this test was changed after uh, just, it usually is changed just before the Olympic Games. And this test was changed just before uh, Barcelona. And and we have a new test now that has been going since the World Championships so the same and will be moves, used next year. All the basic moves, but in a different order, exactly. a different test. Exactly, yep. So here she comes down the center line, collected canter, she'll halt and salute at X. Now they're judging her on the straightness of the horse, and the side judges are judging her on her regularity, and if the horse stands absolutely square, you should see two legs really from the side. Now she picks up her collected trot. She's going to track to the right and extend the trot across the diagonal. You can see how straight she is, and the horse stays very, very steady on the bit with his neck nicely raised, round, and now he extends as much as he can across the diagonal. She has to make the collected trot, and then at A, the middle of the short side, she'll canter. And she crosses a diagonal, medium canter with a flying change at X. This is very difficult because very often the horse gets to the center point and doesn't want to change because he's very busy looking at somebody in the audience. That was pretty. That was very pretty. Then she collects the canter there and will make a transition to the walk. That has to be soft, not abrupt. The horse has to stay really nicely on the rider's aids. She will be judged on her walk stride, the regularity of it, the steadiness of it, the evenness of it. And she's going to make a half pirouette in the walk to the right. Now here it's important that the horse moves his hind legs in absolute regularity, but on the place. 
and then she will make one to the left. Now he stepped one step that was not quite regular, so that will be marked off. She picks up the trot, and she's now going to make a half pass. Makes a half pass to the left. Straight ahead. Now she's going to turn. She'll make a halt, and then she'll make her swing, which are four steps backwards, four steps forward, six steps backwards. She made three there. She made three there. And then she has to trot right on, and she makes her half pass to the right. done with nice bend and nice regularity all of those things will be judged now she makes an extension at the end she will make her passage we're going to have to leave our coverage of this dressage competition Carol Lavelle will be concluding this competition. We'll give you the full results tomorrow night on our Crown Rail update.